A science teacher in the city of Napa is preparing his students for humanity's first mission to Mars. They're only in sixth grade, oh, no. but that doesn't matter. Matt King is done. <laughs> He's launched rockets, and finally, he is live in the studio. He's gone all morning. Yeah, Roland Michelle, I walked into a sixth grade classroom this morning expecting to sit in on a day of school. Instead, I got to witness a science teacher in a government flight suit and a rocket launch. Flight directors, here's your weather information. Weather at South Middle School is go. Two leaders on board now transitioning into terminal countdown configuration. How many volatile rockets go? We have booster ignition. Test registration complete. And we are go for launch. Commence countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go! We have liftoff. All systems on two liter are a go. Two liter performance nominal. 2,600 miles from Cape Canaveral and six months after the last ever shuttle launch, sixth grader Caden Jantz watches a rocket he built climb 300 meters above his school. I was nervous because I didn't want it to break or any wings to fall off. Good thing they didn't, because if you ask Caden's teacher, this young scholar's understanding of forces in motion and Newton's three laws impact more than his grade. It could also inform the success or failure of the 2025 mission to Mars. The people who are going to be involved in that mission are sitting in our middle school classrooms right now. Caden seemed unsure if we should feel re-encouraged or terrified by that fact, but he demonstrated total faith in his mission commander. He's crazy. We'll be talking about, like, um, I don't know, molecules or something. And uh, then he mentions the beach because, like, the water or whatever. And then he started to hula dance. We need to start training them now. Jerry Bowen accepted that mission at a NASA space camp paid for by Honeywell. There, Bowen joined teachers from 17 countries, commanded a shuttle simulator, and brought back everything he learned to his classroom. I tell the kids every day, you know, sh don't tell my wife. I tell her I'm going to work, but I'm really coming and having fun all day long. Normally, Caden also calls Bowen's class fun. But right now, he looks a little skeptical his rocket will make it off the ground. But sure enough, liftoff. What astronauts call performance nominal and a good grade? I think so, yes. With every launch, Bowen's spirits seem to climb a little higher, and his chest to puff out a little farther. But his students' knowledge of the most basic principles it takes to send a man to Mars appear to blast off from the humble launch pad of a middle school football field. Hopefully never to come crashing back down to Earth like the tools that made that understanding possible. Now, Bowen's co-pilot today was fellow science teacher Gary Tond. Ton went to space camp the year after Bowen. Those two oversaw every single period of sixth grade science at South Middle School, launching rockets today. Live in studio, Matt King, Fox 9 News at 9.